Greetings everybody, this is Shadowstar here on Marksman72 for my PlayStation ID and welcome to the next video for my Let's Play series for Crash Bandicoot 3 from the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy and in this video I'm going to be going through the Hang'em High level but I'll only be able to complete 50% uh, let's call it 50% of the level and that's because in this level the this is where the yellow gem is located but in order for me to unlock the secret route that lets me gain access to the yellow gem i'm gonna need to collect five i need to collect five time trial relics to unlock the secret area of the warp room but in order for me to unlock the yellow gem route of the hangem high level i need to collect 10 10 time so 10 Oh, sorry. So 10 time trial relics of any rank. So that's the sapphire, gold, and or platinum rank time trial relics in order to unlock the to unlock the yellow gem root of the Hang'em High level, if that makes sense. And again, I do apologize about me waving my hands in front of the camera. And again, and uh, no worries. I was not going to do I was not going to do the jazz hands. However, in the hang up high level, I will still be able to acquire both the crystal and the normal clear gem. So that's what I'm going to be doing in this run of the hang up high level. And of course, if you're new to the channel and you do like what you see, feel free to hit the thumbs up icon down below along with leaving a comment. I always look forward to hearing what everybody thinks of the current video. And of course, if you want to be notified for when new future content has been released onto the channel, hit. Yeah, for this part of the bonus level, you need to hit. You need me. You need to make sure that you hit the spinning box when it lands on the TNT. Otherwise, you won't be able to complete the bonus level 100%. And of course, as I was saying before, I explained on how to complete that bonus level 100%. If you want to be notified for future content hit the subscribe button down below along along with the bell to receive so you can receive notifications for when new content has been released onto my channel and here we are almost at the end of the hang em, almost at the end of the hang em high level yeah to ensure that you take out the monkey carrying the many pots and you don't want to be you know dealing with him like lot too many times my advice would be just to perform the slide tackle on him and then that way you can get rid of him easy peasy or jump on his head if you can find a way to jump over him and there we are that's all 96 boxes completed the only thing left to do aside from the time trial which I'll which I'm gonna be doing off camera is gonna be the yellow gem so as you can see behind me there is only one level pad left in the second area of that second area, and that is going to be the Dingo Dial option, or Dingo Dial level pad, so time to take on Dingo Dial. You're going down today, Mike. Oh, you're trying to roast the penguin? Oh, I'm going to take you down bloody hard for that. Yeah, so in, or in order to defeat Dingo Dial, avoid his flame, flame attacks from above, then try and get to the center and spin attack him, but make sure you're on the outer, outer part of the icicles, otherwise you're going to get caught in the explosion like I, was, like I just did. Okay, so he's left a large enough gap. Yep, so this is what you that's what you gotta do. Get to the center, attack him. And make sure you can get back to the outside safely. Well I gotta say, defeating Dingo Dingo Dial with the double jump is so much easier. And there we are. Dingo Dial's been thrashed, mate. Oh, I like to see that when that happens, Mike. 
Here we are. The second area has been completed and area number three should be unlocked, which it is. So the dynamite level, the red gem level, red gem level, and the purple gem level. So there's the other motorcycle level, but to start things off in the third warp room area, or the third area of the warp room, I'm going to be doing the double header level. Ah, this must be boss number three, Dr. Nefarious Trope. He shall fall like the rest, I say. That is what you are. You are nothing but all talk, I say. Now, if you are done flapping your gums, I wish to proceed with the double header level, please. Thank you. Oh, that's freaky. Ugh. Don't bother trying to attack those, because um, they can one hit kill. They're pretty much a no kill enemy. So my best bet is unless you have something a ranged weapon to attack them with, just jump around them and avoid them. Ah, that was my bad then. There we go, double jump in action. Aha, got the got me a checkpoint. Oh, sorry about that box of uh, life. I wanted to get the extra Wumpa fruit. Alright then, that takes care of that Tower of Three box. I'll just let the TNT box take care of it. Oh, the, the spin away enemies don't crack open the checkpoint box. That sucks. Take care of this bouncy box. Yay! Don't need to worry too much about the nitro boxes because there is going to be another green metal switch right at the end of this level where you can actually spin it and ignite all the nitro boxes within the, the double header level. So, so 30 boxes in this bonus level. Thank goodness for the double jump. Yeah, do not jump on those TNT boxes. My advice would be to jump over them, head to that metal switch box which I just hit, and come back onto the wooden bouncy box, and get all the boxes that should have appeared in the sky. And it, Sorry, I needed to click my neck as well. And again, double jump up the wooden bouncy box. Should take care of the last two, and then I can move back onto the double header level. I know it's wet and cold, but we gotta press on, trash. We must press forward! Yeah, don't take any chances with those double header header freaks. Oh, I thought I was gonna get hit then. Okay, this is gonna be a tad tricky. Yes, I got it. And there you go, that's all the nitro box ex boxes exploded, and that's the double headed level completed. 
quite surprised his insides haven't been torn apart from swallowing all those gems and crystals. And okay, and on that... Okay, then, and on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be ending this episode here. So when I do come back, I'm going to be doing... I'm going to be starting things off with the high time level and going after the first of the five colored gems, which is going to be the purple gem. And I'll explain on how to achieve that in the next video. So until next time, everybody, I've been Shadowstar or Marksman72 for my PlayStation ID. Stay safe out there, take care, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.